I figured I'd give a review of this sink, which my father and I installed in my house that I'm working on. This sink is made by Ruvati, R-U-V-A-T-I. It's an RVH8300. You can see that right there. It's a 32 inch sink in a 36 inch sink base. I bought this with my own money. I do have a link to it in the description down below. The link is an affiliate link just as a full disclosure. It's a 16 gauge sink which is thicker than anything you would find at Lowe's or Home Depot besides their granite sinks and whatnot. So it's it's pretty nice. It doesn't it doesn't ring at all. It's pretty well deadened. There's deadening material on the other side of the walls too. And the cool thing about this sink is it has a ledge on the back and the front. And this is where you can put accessories. Accessories like a drain rack. Accessories like a cutting board. Which is really nice if you're doing something like chicken or fish and you don't want it to get on your countertop. Anything that splashes over will just... It'll be in the sink. Accessories like this drain bin, which I haven't used yet and I don't know what I'll use it for. We'll figure that out later. And accessories like, well, whatever you want. This is a, a pretty big cutting board. You could cut it down so that it fits in here. And then you could cut a circle in the middle. And in that circle, you could put like a bowl. And that'd be nice, like if you're doing chicken, you're gonna have two of those set up. You're gonna have your batter on one side, your dredge on the other, and right into the deep fryer. So you're not actually making any mess, any chicken mess on the countertop. All the mess stays in the sink. And you can get creative and do other things with that too. It also comes with this rack on the bottom, which is nice because it keeps all of your stuff from both denting the bottom and just resting in water, which could be an issue for you because it doesn't drain out very quickly. It's not very steep bottomed, but I haven't found that to be an issue personally. Like your sponge won't um, be sitting in water. It can dry out. And it came with a drain, and it comes with this little food matter bin, which is great because any food matter that you get into the sink, you can just take this out, throw it away, and then put it back in instead of using your finger down in there to macerate the food down through the drain. And the stopper works great. It doesn't leak. Um, what else? If you're using this to wash dishes, which isn't really its main use case. Uh, like we're gonna be using in conjunction with a dishwasher. Uh, you could use this just as spot cleaning or food prep. Or if you wanted to do like washing in one side and rinsing in the other and then putting in the drying rack, you can just get bins like this and that becomes your wash bin and you can get another for a rinse bin. So that's not an issue with this full size sink. Now what's really cool about this sink is Lowe's or Home Depot you would get a sink that for like a hundred bucks that's two bowl and you'd be putting in a cutting board and it'd be hanging out the side because it doesn't fit. Well in this case even with a massive cutting board, this is the largest cutting board that I own, it fits right in there. So you can wash that without it spraying out of the sink anywhere. You can wash large things without it spraying out of the sink very easily. In conjunction with a taller gooseneck like this. Um, that's about all I have to say for it right now. Uh, be expecting a review in a month and a year to make sure I still like it.
But as for now, uh, I appreciate those likes, comments, and subscribes. And I'll see you around.